this princess is such a beauty, you know? Don't you think so? Of course, my princess. <laughs> you are such a beauty goddess. You know what? Yeah. You exude an endless feminine charm from head to toe. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You know what, my princess? Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Your facial beauty can only be matched by one thing. Which is? Who? Your curves. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Jane. Yes, my princess. Your curves, my princess, cannot be concealed by any clothing. <laughs> you know, because its visible elasticity and plumpness is only comparable to 5G effect. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Jane, just stop. Stop it already. Jane. <laughs> You are making me feel utter romantic. Mm -hmm. Tell me, where do you get all these lines from? What? What are you talking about? Your beauty alone, my princess, can inspire any line. I, Jane, my princess, is super delighted to be of great service to you, Your Highness. <laughs> Come on, let me take Jane, care of you your beauty. Not kill me. <laughs> you are kill me. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> I got you. You know, you know. You know. <laughs> welcome you to my palace today to celebrate the engagement of my beautiful, adorable, lovely, and wonderful princess, my daughter, Princess Brana, and my handsome future son-in-law, Prince Noel. Hey, I want to thank you for being part of this milestone event. It is indeed an honor to this royal family for you to come and celebrate with us this auspicious ceremony that marks the beginning of a lifelong commitment. Love and now marriage. <laughs> How growing up speeds up so fast. I can remember vividly about 24 years ago when I fathered my little princess. I can remember a day 
that she coiled her little fingers on mine. The experience is unforgettable. And I promised myself that I was going to be her Superman. And I also told myself that nothing will ever hurt my little princess. This is a good time for reality check. Was I her Superman? Occasionally. Mostly I was just myself. I was me. An ordinary man, even though I am the king. But a special one made possible by virtue of the fact that I am his father. And now she's grown. A beautiful princess. Hmm. When my daughter, my beautiful princess, told us about the intentions of Prince Noel, my queen and I told ourselves, Superman too. <laughs> because I knew his father, late King Ikemba of Umweze Kingdom. And we told ourselves, this is the right man for our daughter. It is our pleasure to see our daughter lend her hands to Prince Noel to hold and cherish and vice versa. I bless you. May the Almighty God grant you your heart desires. May you live long. May you build a ladder that reaches the sky. And may you step on every rung of that ladder until the sky becomes your stepping stone. God bless you. At this juncture, I want to crave your indulgence to oblige me the singular honor of raising your glasses for a toast to this wonderful couple, Princess Brana and Prince Noah. Please, I don't have time for this bullshit. I have better things to do with my time. Let us cheers to this wonderful couple, Princess Brada and Prince Noel. To good health, to long life, prosperity. Can you cut me with that bullshit, please, and trees? This wasn't the three o'clock we talked about. Listen up, lover boy. I made the rules here, not you. Anyways, hope my money is ready. Your money is ready. Good boy. Now, arrange the money in a brown envelope and meet me at a lonely road that leads to the state's campus. Alone in next 20 minutes. 
Stop your car to distance and walk through. And remember, there will be consequences if you come a second late over. If I notice any foul play. See you. Bitch. Gold digger. Here you are, my handsome prince. Hey. Say that to the monkeys, bitch. Stop that. I won't take that from you. Did you come all the way to this place just to call me a bitch? Now, stop that. What game are you playing? I'm not playing any game. Does it look like any game to you? Why I'm not playing any game? This is business. So it's all about the business, not the game. I need to get the assurance that I have no assurance to give to you, young man. I call the shots. You don't call the shots. So, that's no assurance. Give me the money. <laughs> Not so fast. For your information, some of my friends are within the area, waiting for any scratch to get to me. So, if I'm you, I'll put myself in chains and play the rules as a good boy that you are. to my daughter. Your Majesty, I think you have to calm down. He's still in shock. Where is the doctor? Your Majesty, 
I can't say for now. Oh. Though the bullet has been removed. But she's still in coma and she needs blood urgently. Okay, fine. Uh, let's go. I can I take my blood? Uh, 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 nurse, please take them to the lab for their blood to be taken for us to know the one that matches. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Huh? The doctor wants to see you. Only me, all of us. No, only you. Okay, stay here. Stay. Your character is not of royalty. Obogini ne wegi we, obogini bi wegi, obogini ne wegi we, obogini bi. Your Majesty. Yes. Your blood does not match with hers. What? Yes. Though Prince Brian's blood matches with us. Oh, that's good news. Yes. But there is another problem. Which is? Though we discovered some substance in his blood. So, what do we do? His Majesty. My queen, just calm down, eh? Calm down. She'll be fine, okay? I'll be with you in a moment, okay? Eh, just calm down, okay? All right. Hey, Buka. Go and get the car ready. Huh? You take me to the hospital immediately. Go, go. Of survival. I mean, is she going to be fine? Your Majesty, though it's too early to, to say now, but with what I'm seeing, I believe she will be all right. Thank you, Doctor. Please, don't spare anything. Do everything possible to ensure that she's okay. okay. Doctor, it's an emergency. Where? In the ICU. I see you. Yes, sir. Your Majesty. Yes. 
Doctor, where are my parents? Come down. They are in my office. I just broke the news to them. What, what news? Come down. We, 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 we lost her. Hey! I summoned this meeting for us to deliberate on an important family issue. Okay. What is it, Dad? You are all aware of my health situation. And uh, with the doctor's advice, I need to tune down on my activities. As the king of this great kingdom, and um, the chief executive officer of a big multinational company. It will be practically impossible with my health situation now for me to manage those two together. So your mother and I carefully thought about it and we came to the decision that uh, I should step down from being the chief executive officer of Goldie Fingers Wow. Well, that truth be told, you've done so well for yourself. And we all are proud of you, you know. Uh, you've contributed your quota as the founder and chairman of the company. But you see, the company needs a fresh start, which I'm here, you know, to take that position. To bankrupt the company and send its name to extinction, you mean? I beg your pardon? But that is who you are. I mean, <laughs> you have never been a candidate to replace me. You should know that. What are you saying, Dad? I know as the heir to this kingdom, it is your right to take over from me as the king when I pass on. But the survival of that company goes beyond inheritance. I mean, you cannot possibly be the person to take over. Your sister here fits perfectly into the mold. Wait, 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 wait. If, if, if I can get you correctly, are you trying to give the position that rightfully belongs to me to my sister? Brana takes over from me. What? She is going to be the chairman in acting capacity until the end of the month when I step down. What the heck are you saying that? Mom, did you hear that? No, did you hear what dad said? Or are you part of this daylight robbery? It's for the betterment of this family. There's no sentiment attached to this, come on. What kind of stupid betterment? You're trying to give my position to my younger sister. Are you, are you telling me? Now this is total madness. And I will not be part of it. Brian. Brian.
Rihanna. Rihanna! Funny, Dad. Am I? You are. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, this is not why I'm here. Okay. So tell me why you're here. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Go ahead. Why did you choose me instead of my brother to take over from you? I know before you asked that question, you already know the answer. Let me ask you a question. Would you recommend your brother to any company for him to be their chief executive officer? And I need a truthful answer from you. Would you? Father. Yes. He is my elder brother. And that office naturally belongs to him. Naturally belongs to him. Can he handle it? Can he live up to the expectations of that office? I mean, has he ever lived up to any expectation in his life? That. Look, I know you love your brother. I know you care for him. But would you rather I lose the company I've worked so hard for, I mean to build over the years, just because of inheritance? Let me tell you the truth. I am not handing over to you because you're my daughter. No. I'm handing over to you because I have absolute confidence. I have faith and trust in your managerial skills and competencies. Thank you, Dad. I mean, I'm blushing. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but can I ask you for a favor? Of course you can. Okay. Father. Yes. I love my brother so much. I know. And I do not want this whole thing to bring issues between us. I want to know if at any time you think he is ready to take over from me. Would you let him? Of course, I will. But the question is, will he ever be? Daddy, <laughs> he will. Trust me. A good boy, he's going to change. <laughs> Your brother, I know. He will. It's all right, if you say so. I said so already. Okay. Okay, so I'll be in my room. <laughs> my beautiful princess. Thank you, Daddy.
What have I done to deserve this humiliation from you? Why are you treating me like an outcast? I think what you should be asking is what have you not done? By the way, what humiliation are you talking about? Oh, please! Don't even give me that pretentious look because you know exactly what I'm talking about. If I know what you're talking about, I wouldn't be asking. Well, I guess you have nothing to ask then. I'm just coming back from the office and the security guard won't let me in all because you ordered them not to. Why? Oh, that? <sighs> Listen, son. Since you've decided to steal from your father's company, your father has also decided to shut you out of that company. Yes. What are you talking about? Your sister's monthly report shows that Phones were transferred to your office to procure materials. But neither the phones nor the materials were received by the supply chain department. Why? So? Is that enough reason to shut me out from the company? Really? Look, son. This is not the first time you've done this. It's not the first, it's not the second, and indeed it's not the third. And you don't see anything wrong with it. Look, I'm giving you 24 hours. 24 hours to refund that money. If not, your office will be taken over by another person. I think you should ask me what I did with the money and not just to conclude. Why not ask me? Can you listen to yourself? Oh yes, father. All you have to do is to ask me, my son, what did you do with the money? And I will explain. Look, son, I gave you that office so that you can make something out of yourself. So that you can be useful to yourself. But I guess I was wrong. Anyway, thank God I have your sister, Brad. Now leave my presence. Father, don't forget I'm your only son. Sometimes you listen to me. Leave my presence. Sometimes now. you listen to me, Father. Leave my presence, my friend. Leave! Your character is not of loyalty. Your character is not of royalty. What are you looking for? I left $3,000 here. Now I can't find it. Did you remove it? Me? No. Uh, are you sure you didn't misplace it? No, I couldn't have. I mean, it was here this morning before I went to the office. Inside this drawer? Yes. Check in the office, maybe. Uh, no, 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 I'm very sure the money was here.
What's that look on your face? Are you okay? Did you remove the money I kept in the drawer inside my room? No. Are you sure? You know, Dad. You know I left the house before you this morning. And it hasn't been long since I returned. As a matter of fact, I've been indoors since I came back. Where is your brother? I don't know. I've been trying to reach him, but he's not taking my calls. I see. We'll have words when he returns. so angry. Try to get your brother online and ask him to come back immediately. You should have called the maid to, to do this. Oh, um, I am not complaining. Besides, I don't need anyone to help me take care of my brother. <sighs> His temperature seems normal to me. Well, that's because I dabbed him with cold water twice now. 
Good. Call me if you sense anything unusual. Okay? How the hell did I get in here? Calm down. Let me get you something for your head. Did I ask you for anything? Did I tell you to stay away from me? No, didn't I tell you to stay away from me or anything that concerns me? Brian. I am just... Uh, uh, Brian, now wait. Mom, 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 please. Talk to this girl. I think she's deaf and dumb. Tell her to stay away from me. Is it hard? Will you shut up? Or will you shut up? Is that supposed to be a greeting or something? Aren't you supposed to be bothered how you ended in this bed? And how your sister took care of you the whole day? Instead of a, a little gratitude, you're here saying nonsense. You are lucky to have such an amazing sister. Did I beg her? Always play the angel why I'm the devil. So please, angel, can you kindly go back to heaven? Because that's where angel lives. Or are you a fallen angel? Are you Brian? I won't warn you again. I was trying to be the good person where I'm the bad person. Shoes, though. Brian. Did you hear what I said? Where is the money you stole from my bedroom yesterday? Father, I did not steal any money from your bedroom. I've told you this, I'm not the only one in this house. But you are the only one who returns drunk anytime my money gets missing. Well, I'm glad you're learning. You know what coincidence means. Coincidence? Coincidence. It's all right. Um, you being the only learned man in this palace. Can you please enlighten me so that I can understand what coincidence means? <laughs> Brian, I will ask you for the very last time. Where is the $3,000 that you took from my bedroom yesterday? There you go again. I did not take any money from your bedroom, father. But let, let's see. 
even if I took any money, I'm not trying to say I took money though, but even if I took any money you kept carelessly and me trying to keep it well for you, you shouldn't make case out of it. Will you shut up? What, what are you saying? $3,000 should not be an issue? What are you even trying to say? Are you stupid? Uh, your money you stole. Mom, stop sounding like that. I did not steal it. I took it. Besides, I'm the only son. I'm your only son, father. Who are you making all the money for? And you think I make my money by being irresponsible and extravagant? Huh? You are telling me it's your money? Father, I'm not irresponsible. I'm responsible. Will you just shut up? Now I'm giving you 24 hours to return that money. Or I will treat you like a common thief. Now get out! 24 yes. hours. Get out! Get! Can you imagine that? What kind of stupid son is that? I don't understand. A beautiful home. This is beautiful family. Beautiful home. Beautiful family. Please don't let this get to you. You have to calm down. Please. Don't ask me to calm down. It has got into my neck already. I've been condoning all the excesses of that young man for a very long time. He better stop his rascally behaviors before I change my mind about him. My Lord, please. I know that our son is not living up to his petition. I know that is not what we prayed in a son that we are seeing. But I know one thing, that with time, he will change. Change, you say? Yes, my Lord. We have been coping with this his behavior for the past 26 years. I still count it. It's time it changed. If not, I will do something I will obviously not regret. I know it has not gotten to this. Don't forget that he's our son, the heir apparent to the throne. Please calm down. A couch potato of a son. That is only after easy life and five things. Just imagine the way he squandered a whooping $3,000 within a twinkle of an eye without apology or remorse. Now, that boy had better stop bringing disrepute to this royal family. If not, he's going to live to regret it. Thank God I have a daughter, Brian. My Lord, please calm down. Please, just calm down. I beg you. He's our son. What's up, I? Why are you looking at me like that? Why didn't you see the honorable yesterday? Because I don't understand how me, Prince Brian, we have something to do with that old woman. 
But you assured me you were going to see her. Yeah, I told you that because I wanted you to let me be. Alright? Like, why do you keep disgracing me all the time? You stood her up and she's very angry. She's very mad at you. Well, you don't have to stress yourself up for nothing, alright? The truth is that I do not care how she feels. <laughs> you know what? I don't really blame you at all. Okay. But this will be the last time I'll speak of this again. Oh, really? I'd appreciate it if you do not ask me for any financial assistance ever again. Don't oh. you ever. Okay then, Barclays Bank. I heard you. So how do we come in? Oh please, you know that we are capable. Yes, yeah, so how do we handle it from there? Let me call you back. Brian. What is the meaning of this? This is an office, not a sitting room. How is that my business? Brian, you ought to know this is an office. You should... What do you want? You dare not ask me that stupid question. Do I need to remind you that I'm the only son of my father and this company is my inheritance? Even though you connived with father to sideline me and become the MD. Brian, please don't start. At least not here. The money I asked for, is it ready? I thought I told you that I would not release such ridiculous amount of money to you without the approval of our father. You're talking about the dash. You gave out 8 million naira to Cyril without father's consent. Why are you now seeking approval when it comes to mine? Why? Do I need to remind you that Cyril did not borrow the 8 million naira? The money you just mentioned happens to be his due payment for the contract he had with this company. And father was fully aware of it. Wait, wait, screech a sec. Are you in any way trying to compare me to that useless deported Lebanese boyfriend of yours? What is your problem? Why do you always seize every opportunity to antagonize me? Like I said, if you want that money, seek father's consent. Since you're so sure about what you want to do with the money. And please, my boyfriend is not useless. And he's not deported from any Lebanese or whatever you call it. You disgust me. This will be the last time I will come to this office for this money. If I come here again, I promise you, I will turn this office upside down. And maybe you're right. He wasn't deported from Lebanese. He was deported from Syria and Iraq. Fool. Doing in Abuja if you miss me like a clean. 
testing my patience. Jamie. Yes. Let me call you back, okay? I love you, Mom. Brian. Is everything okay? How can everything be okay when you're purposely trying to infuriate me? Okay. Calm down. What's the problem? What's up with the money? Three days gone and I've not seen anything yet. Why? Oh, that? Oh, that! But you do not expect me to release the company's fund to you when the owner of the company has not approved of it. Father did not put me in this position just because I am his daughter. He put me in this position because he trusts my managerial prowess. And I do not want to disappoint him. Copy that? Are you done speaking English? Thunder will fire you and that prowess. Story of my stolen position. What are you feeling bossy for? Are you mad? Well, I think you should. Talk to father about what you want to use the money for since you don't want to tell me what you want to use it for. But I said I can help you talk to him. If you want, no. Really now? Yeah, really. You siphon the company's phone anytime you want. You even sign checks worth millions of naira to your boyfriend all in the name of bullshit contract. And you sit down here to tell me to talk to father. Really? I don't blame you. Okay? I blame father for giving you such stupid position. Well, you know what? I will never forgive you. I will definitely, definitely deal with you when I wait for that money. You will know who I am. What happened? Is everything all right? Yes, ma'am. Your brother passed me in anger. Did you call it? No. I didn't. What is the problem? It's just the brother sister thing. Nothing much. What I saw has nothing to do with um, the brother and sister thing. Well, you know my brother and I, we fight almost all the time. And everyone in this palace is aware of that. So let's just say this is one. I heard his voice. I heard him shouting. Yeah. You don't know Brian? He likes to para, para for me. He likes to para. Don't make yourself our enemy. I will always protect you. Nibu, one more. One more. Don't make yourself our enemy. Don't make yourself our enemy. Don't make yourself our enemy
United we stand, divided we fall. Let us not give room to our enemy, oh, Mama. I'm still waiting. Prince Brian, this is almost impossible. Well, I'm glad you said almost, not impossible. We both know that this is not a rocket science. <sighs> this is very risky. It is very, very risky. I can go to jail if the company finds out. Interesting. Same way you and HR will go to jail if my father finds out how both of you connived to pay ghost workers. Shock you, Abby? Well, you do that every month and you thought you had your tracks all covered out. Even my over-trusted father never paid attention to details. And my sister is even worse. But guess what? I know about it. So what exactly do you want me to do now? Exactly, dickhead. What I want is the money. But the money you're asking for... I don't care how you're going to do it. Don't get me angry. I want that money before the end of the week. Run along, bro. Yeah, the HR, uh, yes. Are you in the office right now? Okay, just wait for me, I'm coming, yeah. I'm coming right away. All right, okay. How did he even find that? I honestly don't know. He has all the evidence and threatening to expose us if we don't get him the money. <sighs> this is serious trouble. I mean, what do we do to get this whole issue resolved? I mean, what do we do? Oh. Nothing. Did you just say nothing? Oh yes, I did say nothing. How does he expect us to raise money off the company's phone without anybody noticing? See, if he comes here, we'll just tell him that we have all your conversation recorded and we've shared it with the chairman. And with that, he won't dare tell anybody anything about us. Just come off him. Can you hear yourself talk? Do you at least think things through before you speak? And, you know, like, what made you feel that Prince, a uh, 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 brain, you know, will fall to this entity of us? Oh, no. And even if you have all the evidence against Prince Brian, you think the king will ever to send his own son to jail because of you? <sighs> I wasn't thinking towards that man. Don't make yourself our enemy. Don't make yourself our enemy, brother. Don't make yourself a beautiful home. This beautiful family Beautiful Beautiful family Yeah Yeah No, I'm, I'm in my house. Nothing really. I'm just tucked up here with my ever-boring sister. 
Please, how can one understate that word, sister? Because I'm tired of using it on someone I share no values with. <sighs> no, I, I won't be coming today. I'll come tomorrow. Okay. Okay, alright. Just have to get fresh air somewhere else. That's one thing is missing. That's one thing is missing now. Your character is not of royalty. Madam, you call for me. Explain this. I'm waiting. Madam, there are workers. I know. From which department? Exactly. Have you suddenly gone dumb? Madam, they're from different departments. I need to know their departments respectively. You know what? Go and bring them. I want to see them now. And don't keep me waiting. Resources manager and the chief accountant could do this to the company that has fed them over the years. And I trusted them so much. That's the problem. Father, you over trusted them, and that is the foundation of this problem. How did you find them? Did someone tell you? No. I noticed some irregularities with the staff payment. That was when I found out that the HR and the accountant had set up fake employees, pockets their pay, and cooks up book to hide the transactions. I knew about this. I've heard so much about them. My friend always told me about the HR. But uh, each time I bring the topic to your father, he will say um, they have other business that fetch money for them. So I put it in the notice. Mm. I still cannot understand how they did all this under my leadership and I couldn't find out. Mm. Am I that incompetent? Mm, no, 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 my lord, you're not. You just took advantage of your weakness. Yes, thank God. Uh, we know now. And that is why I will ensure that they rot in jail for taking advantage of my generosity and trust. My princess, thank you so much. I knew your managerial capabilities and your competence. That was why I handed over to you. And you did a very good job. Thank you so much, Dad. Thank you for believing in me. I promise never to disappoint you. Mm. You've already proven it. Thank you so much. I wish I wish there was wine here. Oh, not a problem. Let me tell the ladies to get anyone of your choice from the bar. Okay. <laughs> we have maids. <laughs> Get some 
Prince, calm down, okay? Calm down. How can I calm down? No, you tell me. How can I calm down when that girl has been a thorn of my flesh? She has managed to thwart all my plans. And you know how much I need that money? I know. I know. But you can still get that money. Get the money? How? What am I supposed to do? How? Calm down. You have me, okay? Glad to do all the thinking for you. All right, calm down. I'm always in charge. All right. Hey man, you a G, bro. That's what's up. Appreciate. <laughs> Everything will be fine. All right. <laughs> Have you done the job? Yes, boss. He's right here with us. Okay. Very good. How much do you ask for the ransom? 30 million for now. 30 million? Okay, it's okay then. So should we contact the family immediately? No, 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 no. On my instructions. Okay. All right. Keep a clean job, huh? Don't hurt her. All right, boss. Hey boy, keep your eyes on her. Right. The boss said we should wait okay. huh? before contacting the family. about your daughter. What about my daughter? I've been calling her cell phone for over four hours now. It, it keeps saying switched off. Where could she be? But I'm, I'm, short. I'm so worried. For four hours now. Is that why you are worried? Huh. It could be a network problem or maybe the battery is down. <laughs> why, why are you worried? <laughs> could she? For four hours. Why is everyone looking worried? It's your sister. I've been calling her cell phone for over four hours now. And it keeps saying, switched off. How? 
For four hours. That is not supposed to be a problem. Maybe she's having a good time with the boyfriend. Why are you always all serious? In a serious matter as big as this. What is wrong with you? Mom, Brianna is not a kid. She's fine. Yeah, hello? Yeah, who is this? What? Oh, oh, okay, I'll be there soon. What is it? What? Someone just reported a case of kidnap, and the supposed car involved looks like that of Brianna's. Ah! I said it. I said it. Oh, I said it. I said it. I said it. I said it. My quick, calm down, oh. calm down. We've not confirmed it yet. Uh, oh. Now, take a look. At it. Go and check, okay? Uh, I got this. Yeah, sure. your head, I'll, let's go. I'll, 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 no, come back, come back, come back. No, you, you don't need to go. Uh, let's just pray that it's not our daughter. Okay? See, I shouldn't go with him. No, 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 don't. No, I don't know what I'm doing here. I should be going with him to find out what they are saying. Say here will not solve the problem. I'll be able to see the car better than him. Please calm down. All we should be doing now is praying. Let's pray that it's not our daughter. Okay? Please calm down. It's okay. Please sit okay. down. But it's okay, I'm okay, yeah. I will run around and get the money, please. Oga, okay. there is nothing I can do about this. The doctor said you pay a deposit of 20,000 naira before your mother can be attended to. That's the hospital's policy and not mine. Uh, I know, but I will pay. Just attend to my mother first, please. My mother is dying. Mr. Man, it seems all I've been saying. It's like you don't understand what I've been saying, right? I said there is nothing I can do about this. The doctor has already said so. It's oh. like you want me to lose my job. Okay, okay. Can I talk to the doctor? He's actually in the office with someone. And you expect me to just watch my mother die just like that? Then you do something about it. I have to sit down. Mr. Mali, go now, go! Thank you very much, sir. Uh, I really appreciate it. Doctor, 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 please. What is it? What can I do for you? My, my mother. I attend to my mother, please. I, I'm begging you in the name of God. Please, my mother is dying. Don't allow her to die. Please, doctor. Have you made any deposits? Uh, just go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll run around and get the money, please. Hold on. Um, hold on. I'm sorry to come in. What's the problem? Good day, madam. Good day. Uh, please, my mother, the, the hospital refused to attend to her because I've not made How any much deposits. is the bill? Uh, How much is the bill? 20,000 there. Doctor, please attend to the mother. I'll pay the bill. Is <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Thank you, Mama. 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 You seem lost. I, I am only thinking about the huge amount of money you're going to make in this. <laughs> of course, well, that is true. We'll be millionaires after this deal. <laughs> eh? But don't celebrate victory yet until everything is over. Now, take this money. Go and get us some food. I'll be right very fast. Fast, fast, fast. That's our money. That's our money. Please, just calm down, okay? Calm down, don't, don't panic. I am coming calm down. down. I'm coming. <laughs> so, nah, how did you go? So, say something, why are you 
go quiet. Where are both of you not speaking? Speak! Father. Brian has been kidnapped. Ah! I said it. I said it. What did I say? I told you there was a problem. You told me it's Nigeria factor. I was I told you this. I told you this. Did, 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 you, did you see the car? Did you see the car? Did you? Hi! 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 Wait! Wait! Just calm down. Just calm down. What is it? Calm down. Calm down. What is it? Hi! What is the situation? Any traces yet? None, Your Majesty. But my men are already on it. How can you say your men are on it? It's, it's almost 7 p.m. And nothing has been heard. Eh? So how? What, what kind of jobs are your, are your men doing? Calm down, Your Majesty. We are already on their trail. No, how can you ask me to calm down when my, my daughter's life is involved here? Oh. Majesty, eh? I know it is not easy on you, but you have to try. Meanwhile, has anyone contacted you yet for a ransom or anything yet? No, not yet. All right, Your Majesty. But do not hesitate to alert us in case they do. I assure you that my men and I will do our best to find your daughter. Look, DPO, I need more than your best in this kind of situation. My daughter's life is involved. Just do everything you can to, to, to get my daughter back to me. I can assure you I will reward you with anything you need. But just get my daughter back. Okay? I give you my word, Your Majesty. Stop working yourself up for nothing. She's fine. She will be back. How can you ask me to stop working myself up when my daughter is being kidnapped? Mom, what they need is money. Once we give them that money, they will release her. Why do you sound as if... Um... Why do you sound as if you understand this whole scenario? 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 What? what? What do you mean? No, you... You sound um, so sure of what they want and what they don't like. Well, it's, it's because I've, I've mastered um, kidnappers' modus operandi. You know, you remember what happened when they kidnapped Dad's friend? They, they, they asked for ransom and, and, and when they paid, they released him. I believe that's exactly what they want. Once we pay them this ransom, they will release her. That's all. I want to see my daughter, and right now. And that's exactly why we have to run around and raise this money and give to them. Now, not like we don't have the money after all. We just give them that money and, 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 and they will release her. You know, because these people, they, they are somehow, once you, you know, waste time in giving them the money, they might do something stupid. And that's exactly what that is. Sorry, I have to get this call. Excuse me.
one time. And I will repay you for that good you did for me. You will follow to the back door. You will see a track road. Follow it straight down until you get to the main road. Do not talk to anybody. And don't look back. Run as much as your leg can carry you. Please. Just. I'm sorry, who are you at least? What's your name? That is not necessary. I know you wouldn't want my, my, my partner to come and meet us here. Alright. Make that call now. My, my game caught. My, my, my game caught. Is that why you are screaming? Uh, no, I, I played home and away. Game will kill you in this house. Game will kill you. You are in the house and you are doing home and away. Here, here, for Nola. Which one is home and away? I'm not discussing the very serious thing she's talking about home and away. Why not? Princess Brianna has just returned. Huh? Yes. 
시사한테 I was lucky to see a motorist that brought me to the junction that leads to the palace. <laughs> Thank God they did not wreck you or hurt you in any way. I thank the Almighty for your safety. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. My princess, stop crying, okay? Stop crying. Um, the man who released you, how can we locate him? Because uh, I would like to reward him handsomely. God, what are you saying? How can you be thinking of rewarding a kidnapper? Why should he die? It doesn't make sense, Dad. You shouldn't think of that. Would you have preferred that pay 30 million naira? 30 million what? Yes, sir. I overheard one of them on a phone call with someone telling him about 30 million there. I suppose it's the person that contracted them to kidnap me. Well, I, I think, if you ask me, I think uh, it's their own way of getting something from you without being on the police radar. Think of it. I tend to agree with Brian. I mean, they are kidnappers regardless. Yes. And they must be brought to book. Uh, my princess, you are going to lead the police to their hideout tomorrow. Okay, Dad. How can you be sounding like that? I did that. How can they be there when their victim has escaped? That's not possible. Well, I suggest we let this thing go. Since I Brianna is back home safe and sound, all right, we move. Okay. It's yeah. gone and uh, the, the deed has been done, so why not? We just let it go. It's a, uh, my princess, please uh, stop crying, okay? I know you must be tired. Go and have some rest. Uh, Sudan, take care of my little princess for me, okay? I shall do this. Make sure she eats, rest properly, okay? You can go with her. The devil has come to destroy The question be record to your general This is devil's handwork to destroy our peace This is devil's handwork to destroy our peace Don't go as your people now news Come maybe see your love news I must get to the root of this. The number you dialed is switched off. Please try again later. What? The number you dialed is switched off. Please try again later. You will have switched off. Why would these fools switch their phones off? So this unprofessional needs with real my millions for me. Oh shit. I must do something. I need to do something before they end up. Implicating me. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, damn, what kind of sap heads have I got in my cell? I told you already. I don't know how she managed to escape. We were sleeping when I received your call to make the contact. That was when I found out that she has escaped. I believe someone helped her while we were sleeping. Of course, someone helped her escape. One of you did. 
I beg your pardon. How can you say that? I mean, that, that is not possible. She came back last night and said one of you untied her. Claiming she helped him in the past. What? What is what? Do you know what your incompetence has cost me? I paid you well for this, didn't I? Did I pay you well for this? No, didn't I pay you well for this? You have ruined everything for me. You're asking me what? So this is the reason for J-Boy's strange behavior. So it was him. Now listen. Both of you should lay low for now. If possible, you leave town. Until this is over, I promise I'm coming for you. Now get out! Get out of this car! Bunch, bunch of fools. J-Boy. J-Boy. Wait for me, I'm coming for you. Don't be a fool, my son. Don't be a fool. Be wise, be wise. Cause you must regret. Actions. You must regret all this in Paco. A poor Paco did you see a goa? A poor Paco did you see a goa? A passia sago, 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 This is devil's hand work to destroy our peace. And this is devil's hand work to destroy our peace. Go go say be for nine years. Come baby see love and you. Yeah la la la. said anything. How did you lay your hands on those documents? Answer me! Answer me before I send you to where people like you belong. How did you get the documents? Well, well Father, I, 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 I saw the documents and, and, and I took them. Yes, I know that. You saw them and you took them, yes. But from where? It doesn't matter, Father. I needed money for my project worth millions of naira. And my holier than thou sister wouldn't release funds from the company all because she's been signing checks worth millions to her boyfriend. So I had to look for an alternative. Hmm. Alternative? So if not for Brenna's friend, you would have sold an acre of land that belongs to the community just because you are looking for an alternative. Now, if you needed money, why did you come to me? Oh, Father, because it's pointless. You have never granted any of my requests. Besides, if you haven't given the position that rightfully belongs to me, to my sister, I won't be looking for an alternative. Hmm, I see. So you wanted me to make you the chief executive officer of my company so that you can make it go bankrupt within three months. Can you see why I entrusted it to your sister instead of you? Father, I am your only son. I'm the heir apparent to the throne and everything that you own. 
I deserve more than to play second fiddle to a woman that will soon get married and leave this palace. I should be the one in charge, you know. Brian, this national anthem of my only son, my only heir to the throne, yes, you're right, it's your inheritance. And that is the singular reason that we are having this conversation. But let me warn you. If this still repeats itself again, consider yourself fatherless. And I mean every single word of it. Now leave my presence. So what about the money for my mother? Leave my presence. Father, you just said I, if I needed... I said leave my presence, Brian. Leave! You see, you know about the money. Please! You can't do anything. That's why I never bothered to let you know. Why is my princess not here yet? I wonder if it's... Oh, you have to come. You know I miss you too. Please get me chocolates when you come. Mm. I trust you. Mom, I'm sorry for coming late. I hope I'll have fun. Oh, it's cereal. He says it's a guest. Mm. I thought that's much. Your smile says it all. <laughs> well, he said he's coming back very soon, and I cannot wait to see him. I can see it written all over you. Your smile says it all. Was it that evident? Yeah. Hello, didn't you see that? Of course I did. You needed to see your face. Mm. <laughs> Dad, even you? Mm. Look, I don't have to blame you. Because of course you inherited it from somebody. And that person was worse than you are right now. Mm. <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> your brother about you though. Oh, Brian. <laughs> How have you been? Well, as you can see, I'm doing great. Can't you see that? <laughs> I'm doing okay. good, thank you. Oh, it's obvious. You look so beautiful. Ah, um, I was thinking maybe we can hang out later today, 6 p.m. Let's say dinner. Um, I don't think so. Oh. It's a bad timing for me. Princess, come on. For all time's sake, it's been a long time I saw you. Um, I'm just thinking we could hang out today. I'll be traveling tomorrow though. Please. Alright. You win. I know you, and I know you wouldn't take no for an answer. Ah, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> um, 6 p.m. from Cali. Yeah. So tell me, what are you doing here, by the way? Wait. I came to fix my hair. <laughs> <laughs> ah, don't mind. Um, my... Are you being serious right now? <laughs> my friend owns the place though. Really? Jane is your friend? Um, I, yeah, yeah. Jane is my friend, yes. Oh, yeah. I see. It's all right then, I'm running along. I'll see you later all today. Right. Oh, you look good. Thank right, you. <laughs> Be careful. Oh, don't take a love. Go! 
Me out. I thought you are different. I thought you are the best. How could you? Wait, first of all, you came in unexpected. No one knows that you're coming back today. And now you're you are saying things that I do not even understand. Like it's so confusing. What's going on? That's supposed to be a surprise. But I ended up getting the surprise. Okay. This is getting serious. Talk to me, what is it? Don't talk to me. Just hold it there. Can you explain this? Can you explain this? Sir, how did you come off those pictures? No. The question should be who is he? And what are you doing with him? Nothing! He's just a friend. My brother's best friend. He saw me the other day and was like, we should go hang out and have a drink, and that's all! Princess, why am I even calling you a princess? Brianna, are you this loose? Despite your position as a princess! Are you by any chance insinuating that I am cheating on you? This is not an insinuation. This is a fact. This is a fact. They really warned me about you. I ended up defending you only to get this picture as an evidence of your infidelity. Siri, why, why are you doing all of this because of this, this mere pictures? Why are you believing what I don't know? He's just my brother's friend for crying out loud. Your brother's friend? Your brother's friend who you end up sharing bed with? Who dare you? You know what? I'm done. No, I'm done. For real. I'm done. I don't want to have anything to do with a royal prostitute like you. It's over. Give me my phone. Serio. Pick your call, Cyril. Pick your call. This is becoming serious. What's going on? Right now, 
so it has gotten to the extent of not letting me into the house again? Things has changed, Brianna. You can't cheat on me and expect me to welcome you without open arms. What are you saying? Siri, why are you behaving like this just because of my pictures? <laughs> my pictures? My pictures, you said. You have no shame, Brianna. You have no shame. What shame? What shame are you talking about? Why are you calling off our beautiful relationship quits? What more do you want me to say? What more do you want me to say? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But the fact is that I don't want to see you anywhere around my house again. I don't want to see your cheating face anywhere around here again. It's goodbye then. You're just noticing it. It's a double bye. Excuse me. I'm done with it. Meanwhile, the CEO of Adjustors called asking for an emergency meeting with you concerning the federal government contract. Ma, Princess, Ma'am, Ma. What? You're calling me? Well, you're crying. Am I? You know what? Back up the office. Ma, what about the meeting with the guests council? everything. <laughs> it's still very fresh in my memory as if it was yesterday. Hmm. Yes. I remember vividly when you ran into the bush, when you saw the masquerade that accompanied us um, <laughs> for the traditional rites. <laughs> <Not funny. laughs> I still remember everything. <laughs> 
Oh, I can't imagine the mask wearing. How time flies. And what is wrong with her? Honey, what could be wrong with her? My lord, don't worry. I will find out. Please do. I don't need to ask if you're fine. The question is, what happened? What happened? Say something. Our daughter, can you imagine what he did? What, huh? Dad, Mom, please. I need some time to, to clear off my head. It's okay, my dear. You will be fine. You will be fine. Take every time you need in this world, okay? Yes. I trust you. You are my daughter. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. I know you'll be fine, okay? You'll be fine, my dear. You're my daughter. You'll be fine. Princess Brianna, what exactly are you going into this bar to do? You want to resort to alcohol because of cereal? Come on, you're stronger than this. Cereal may have broken up with you, but he didn't break you. The fate of an intelligent and resourceful man like you should not be decided by the actions of a confused boy who's yet to be a man. You're better than this. Brianna, you are. To hell. To hell with you and your memory cereal. To hell with you and your memory cereal. To hell with you.
हेलो हेलो हाय हाय हाउ आर यू आई एम गुड ऑल लुक्स लाइक यू नीड सम हेल्प यस आई डू आई हैव अ फ्लैट टायर ऑल ऑब्वियसली एंड आई एम गेसिंग यू डोंट नो हाउ टू फिक्स इट ऑब्वियसली Well, today is your lucky day. I'm here. I'll take care of that for you. Okay. okay? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, open up your trunk. So. Ah. Uh, I have a little confession to make. You see, I I don't really know how to do this, but I believe with your assistance, I will I will do very well. Wait, you've never changed a tire before? Oh, there's the first time to everything, I guess. Strange. It's not true. Yeah. By the way, what's your name? Oh. Please forgive my manners. I am Noel Abadugo. And you are? My name is Pete. <sighs> Call me Brianna. Well, Brianna, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> By the way, back to business. Yes, um, your hand. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. It. I'm glad I could be of help. Huh? <laughs> By the way, uh, yeah. Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about what? That's I mean, what it's meant for. Wipe your debts, huh? <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I guess I have to. Wash it and bring it back to you. Well, I don't mind. <laughs> By the way, I have to run now. Oh, okay? really? Yes, I have to get ready for a meeting I have tomorrow. Okay? So I guess I will have to see you some other time. Yeah, my car. Call me at the time you like. I will definitely call. Of course. <laughs> Really nice to meet you, Brian. Thanks once again. <laughs> Take care. Be well, right? Of course. <laughs> Bye then. Bye. Syria. Yes, you did. Not until today. I feared that you'd be broken, but you look strong. Mom, trust me. It's not fun. I mean, we had plans of getting married, going to the Bahamas for a honeymoon. And living in Canada thereafter, but I guess it was all a mistake. I should have known better. My angel is not your fault. We all thought that he was a nice man, not until he proved otherwise. Your father invited him while you were away, but he vowed never to set foot into this palace. He said that. Yes. See, my dear, you are an intelligent young woman with a brighter future ahead of you. Overlook all this and concentrate on the brighter light ahead. Okay? 
Thank you so much, ma'am. You're welcome, my dear. What is this? A reminder. What does it remind you of? Something you wouldn't want to know. Now, give it. Bring it here. Mom! What? Yes, I'm going to go to see you to see you. Good. Let him in. Alright. Meanwhile, follow the project chart to Crystal Group and book appointments with them tomorrow by noon. Alright. No way. You? Yeah. Well, let me just say it's faith. Mm, faith in the end. Please sit. Faith, I guess. Mm. Faith. Faith indeed. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Well, I actually have someone waiting for me. But first of all, I would like to know how you managed to locate me here. <laughs> Anyways, let me reintroduce myself. Okay. I am Prince Noel Abaduka. Wait a minute. Are you the prince of Umwe is the kingdom? Now that is correct. Yes. I don't know. Oh my goodness! I don't, I don't know how you missed that, but um, it's alright. You know, I have um, an appointment here with Igwe Mwakire. I'm wondering what you're doing here. So I ask, are you related to him or a personal assistant? Well. Let me reintroduce myself too. Oh, really? My name is Princess Brianna Wakire, the Princess of Amaka Kingdom. Damn. Yeah. How did I? How did I miss that? <laughs> no wonder. No wonder the P mm -hmm. when you introduced yourself to me yesterday. <laughs> now it's official that I am not the wisest man. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome. Oh, thank you very so much. What do I offer you? Anything. <laughs> Why are you stalking me? I am not stalking you, Prince Brian. You are not picking my cousin. What happened? I've been standing here over for an hour now. What happened? You can as well build a tent here if you wish. State what you want and get lost now. Why are you acting as if nothing happened between us? Did you say us? Yes, I said us. There is nothing like us, bitch. What we had was situationship. If there's anything like that, I got what I wanted and bounced. You should do the same. By the way, is that why you're here to tell me this rubbish? I'm asking you! I'm pregnant. Is that supposed to move me or scare me? Better do away with this thing or you can contact the bastard that put it there. Is that all you have to say to me, Prince Brian? Oh, you want to hear more? Then you can tune into Al Jazeera CNN to hear more. After what we've gone through, this is what you want to pay me for. Prince Brian, if this is what you want, 
you will pay for it. My eyes on you. Oh, let me advise you. I guess your long lashes won't let you see clearly. You should get a CCTV camera to get the eyes more on me. Get out. Just buy you. Get out of my house and never you come here, fool. If I see you in here again, you will know yourself. My girl. You're going to pay for this. For the damn gate, fools. I like you too. Just that. Just that what? I feel... It's too sudden. We just met and... I get. Uh, are you still mourning your old relationship or you think it's just too early for us to get something started? Not Which that. Is it? Not that. I... I, I kind of... Uh, hey. Don't search for words where they're not. And don't put words where they don't fit. Listen. The moment I saw you, I... I felt butterflies in my stomach. And then I knew you were the one. <laughs> don't ask me how, I, I just know. I just know. Me too. Even though the pain of breaking up with my ex-boyfriend was still very fresh but I felt the connection it was very strong and now it is time for us to make it even stronger hmm? don't worry darling darling are you alright? yes yes sure are you sure? Oh, very sure very well then. Can we proceed? Yeah. Uh, yes. I'll get you though. to be traveling to Abuja. Of course. And he told me he was going to spend five months or more. What is he still doing in this town? Beginning to think that. No. I and my brother are likely to have a hand in what happened between Cyril and I. whole thing together. Okay, we had dinner. We hopped. And all of a sudden, Cyril is showing me pictures of me with him. Accusing me of infidelity. This is too much to be just a coincidence. Jane! Jane! Yes! Jane!
princess. I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. I was very busy at the salon. Come on, Jane. Yes. Where are you part of the plants? Plants? What plants, my princess? The plants are destroyed by relationship with Siri. Were you part of it? I don't understand what you're talking about. What are you saying? Why would I want to destroy your relationship? Well, if you must know, it started from when I came here and I met with Ike, your friend. Ike. Funny enough, I do not have any friend by the name Ike, my princess. Oh, please, cut off that, Jane. Cut off the pretense. He told me he's your friend and he came to see you. No, 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 no. This is serious. My princess, I don't understand what happened or what is happening right now, but honestly, I do not have any friend called Ike. Besides, I can never be part of anything that would hurt you. You know me too well. That's him. Now, do you know him? My princess, I do not know this guy. I've never met him before. Believe me, come on. You know me too well for this now. My princess. Wait. My princess. My princess, what's going on? Just talk to me. Make me understand. I'm lost. Please. My princess. Don't take a love oh, for granted. Be careful. Don't make yourself our enemy. Makanani full of Ginanya, love of Wagi, your brother. Don't make yourself our enemy. I will stand by you. Don't make yourself our enemy. I will always. Wow, what do we have here? The ever beautiful Princess Brianna. Hold it there. Hold it right there. What's... What do you take me for? A fool? Calm down. I'm sorry I didn't tell you I was in town. I didn't plan on staying long, okay? Just calm down. No. The question should be, did you ever travel? Did you ever leave this town? Like, what are you talking about? As soon as I got your call, I came here. I had to leave everything I was doing. So why, why are you being paranoid? Why did you do it? <laughs> do, like, do what? What do you mean? Okay, Chuko. You know exactly what, what I'm talking about. You and my brother connived to destroy my relationship with Cyril, right? Like, what are you talking about? Who is Cyril? I've, I've, I've never heard of that name before. Oh, please don't play dumb with me. Don't. I met you at a salon where I went to fix my hair. And then you said, oh, please, can we go on a date? I accepted simply because of old time's sake. Not knowing that you had other intentions. Other ugly intentions. Princess, I am trying not to get angry. Why, why, why are you accusing me of your failed relationship? E.K. Chuku. You claimed you were at a salon that day to see a friend who also happens to be the owner of the salon, right? Yes, and so? What's her name? Um, I, um... Uh... Like, why are you asking of her name? What does that have to do with anything? Your inability to say her name, even though I can recall mentioning it that day, and the uneasiness on your face has given me all the confirmation that I need. Thank you so much for being such a nuisance. Um, um, princess. You know, 
United we stand, divided we right. fall. Let us not give room to our enemy, oh. Mama, this temptation. Papa, this temptation. But you see, this temptation is not our limitation. Mama, this temptation. Papa, this temptation. But you see, this temptation is not our limitation. Don't make yourself our enemy. Makanani for looking on your love, Wagi, your brother. Don't make yourself our enemy. I will stand by you. Don't make yourself our enemy. I will always protect you. Nibu, one more. Don't make yourself our enemy. Where is Brian? It's at the back of the house, my princess. At the back. Don't make yourself our enemy. Princess, looking for the prince. With this anger on her face. This has never happened before. Who knows what he has done to her this time around? <laughs> oh. Lunatic to stay on her lane. Can you imagine her pulling off my headset forcefully just because she wants to talk to me? Is that true? Did you do that? Mom, that's not an issue. Would you believe that Brian here and his friends were the ones behind everything that happened between Cyril and I? What? Brian, is it true? It's true, Mom. He set me up with his friend and it took those pictures that Cyril used against me. What? Brian, did you? Brian, is that true? Brian! This boy will not kill me. How could you? I said, how could you? Wait, wait, mom. Don't tell me you believe that nonsense she just said. What has your sister ever done against her? Oh, she has hey, done mommy. a whole lot. She has done a whole lot, mother. And still doing. It's not just me. She has done a whole lot. Will you just shut up? What has she done? Rather than show you love and affection as, as the only sibling in her life. Can you What you? kind of stupid affection? No, what kind of stupid affection, mother? All she does is to pretend to be good while she's the devil himself. At times I wonder if you're really my son. Do you know that? Well, I am if you look at your eyes and your nose. Oh, come on, just keep, just shut up. I'm so ashamed of you. Tell me, what do you look like? Brian! I will be the greatest liar to tell you I am fine. What's led me to Brian? Like, what's my wrong? What is my offense? You did no wrong. It's not really your fault. You did nothing. Mama, 
On the contrary, I think I am the problem. Because I have been so soft and too respectful to him. And that is the genesis of all these problems. That is not true, my dear. It's true. You see, the way you handled your brother is the main reason why we have this little peace around us. And I want to thank you for that. No, no. No. I think at this point, you have seen the last of my patience and endurance. You don't expect me to, to, to go hug Brian and probably kiss him on the cheek and pretend nothing is wrong? I won't do that. I know. I know it hurts. But don't allow your brother's attitude get to you. It has, though. It has, Mom. You are a strong and very intelligent woman. And I want you to remain that way. Don't change. No, Mom. That will be very hard. Very, very hard. I know it hurts. Uh, don't tell me uh, you're beginning to miss cereal here. Cereal? Don't sound as if you don't know that cereal is not a problem here. Brian is. I, I know that cereal was, was rash with his quick decision, but that led me into the hands of a better man. My brother's part in this cannot be overemphasized. What is wrong with Brian? Oh, oh, you can skip that for now. I already had an appointment. I should skip what? Now, get inside before I lay us on you. Dad, you don't get it. I, I have an appointment already. Will you just shut up and get inside? Have peace of mind in his house. The time is problem. Your character is not of royalty. Your character is not. My friends, you have to calm down. Calm down. Honestly, I have had it up here. Why would they always order me around like a child? I'm sick and tired of staying in that palace. I just want to be independent, live my life without any dictations from my tyrant father and my holier than thou sister. Has it really gotten to of that? Of course it has gotten to that. No, take a very good look at yourself. You've done so well for yourself within a short period of time. Living your life to the fullest without anyone stepping into your affairs. You have every reason to be like me, but you've decided to choose a different path. Oh. <laughs> I get, because your father is a king and you're the prince, so you feel you have all the wealth in the world, right? Huh? Look, the honorable is in town, just in case you change your mind, hit her up, okay? Um, Storm, come, it is that old woman honorable, please. I, 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 can't, I can't see myself doing that. <laughs> it's no wonder your father doesn't have any regard for you. You're just very childish and unreasonable. You what didn't just you say that to me, right? Yes, I did. Make money, explore the world, and watch your father give you all the respect and all the love you deserve. Okay? This honorable is a stepping ladder for you. Just go and make the money. Watch your father being proud. Oh, just think about it and stop beating around the bush and complaining. What's wrong with you now? Ha! Huh. If you weren't my friend, I swear, I would have buried this right inside your eyes. Man up, man. Man up. Um, waitress, please give us our usual, please.
How are you, Trisha? That's good. That's good. But why did you do it? Doctor, it's a long story. The father of a child denied the pregnancy. So I have no other option than to terminate it. That is not enough reason. Yes. My father would not have it. He would have killed me if he found out I was pregnant. So I had the option that to terminate the pregnancy, doctor. Okay. So, 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 so. You decided to please your father and ended up displeasing yourself. Doctor, what do you mean by that? Well, the herbs or whatever thing that you said you took ended up doing the worst. I'm sorry to tell you this, Tricia. You ended up destroying your wounds. Ah! I don't know. I don't know why me. Through this, and you will go scot free. I was, you must be, you must be for what you have cost me. You must be, Prince Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed every moment of it. That was pretty good. Why is your face like that? You know why my face is like this now. Do the need for. It's no, you enjoy. That's not why I'm here. I think I know what you need. I'm going to make you happy now. More like it now. <laughs> so you enjoy. Need. More like it now. So I enjoyed it. This for your fuel. Just fuel your car. And this one for your upkeep. I'd like to say thank you for a job well done. You made wow. me happy, I made you happy. So it's one one. Wow. But I want you to be my personal person, my right hand man. And you stand to gain more. Of course, a real honorable. Thank you for this. I appreciate. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, as it is now, I don't want us to always come to a hotel like this. Okay. I don't want you to get a house of your choice. Get me the bills. I pay. That's what I'm talking about. At least for security reasons. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Come here, honorable. You're such a darling. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, here? Oh. Mm. <laughs> Don't worry. Next time when I visit, you will know that I'm a firebrand. Wait, but let me rest for today sure, <laughs> before you sure, break yeah. my ways. <laughs>
<laughs> My friends. And you know you're a great kid. You too. Me at this age? You're still a firebrand. Come on, <laughs> stop. Excuse me, let me take this call. Okay. Hello? Honorable Johnson, what do you want? Well, tell me exactly what you want. Are you high or something? I should step down for you. <laughs> if you try this one more time, I will put you in your place and there you will remain for the rest of your miserable life. Are you sick or something? Just get off my phone. Is there a problem? No, 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 no. Everything is fine. And uh, what would you want? What would they bring you? Eat something, chew something, you know what is ahead of us. <laughs> what is that? Where are you stop? Shock us off of the bed. <laughs> the house is really nice. Thank you, my prince. So, which one are you going for? Um, I'm going for the second flat, uh, the one that has balcony. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's all yours, as long as you can afford it. <laughs> Are you calling me broke? No, 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 not at all. Not at all, sir. I didn't mean it that way. Sorry, my prince. I'm very sorry. Okay, uh, you will hear from me before the end of the month. All right, my prince. I'll be expecting your call. You have everything you want. You have everything. Why are you looking at me like that? Well, because you're such an alluring angel. Thank you. You know, I thank God for giving us this avenue to be together. I never knew I would fall in love again after all I've been through. But today, here I am. Um, developing feelings for you. Same day I broke up with my ex. Made me realize that our meeting was by fate, not a coincidence. 
But if that be the case, I... I think fate has brought us together. Then, we should back it up forever. Brenna. My heart was as open as the ocean. But you bottled it for yourself. It was as dry as the desert. But you, with your love, watered it for me. Will you go through the tides of life by my side? Ask my wife forever. Yes. Yes. You have made me the happiest man on earth. Thank you so much. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me. I love you. Of course you know I love you too. I love you so much. So, a toast. Yeah. A toast to forever. that why are you like that do you have any problem why did you become like that immediately i asked after your father honorable can we not talk about my father please why you don't like me talking about your father that's what i just said come on why because my father is rich and very very annoying stingy if he was up and doing that i don't think i would be seated here you don't like me do you think so? Do you actually think your father is rich and not giving him enough money? That's what I just said. Don't worry, that shouldn't worry you. Because by the time I'm done taking care of you, you will not only realize that your father is poor, you realize also that he's not stingy. Alright? I will expose you to untold riches. Money I will spoil you with money. You smell money, you will touch money, you will feel money everywhere you go. Honorable, I guess you don't really know my father. By the way, what's up with your previous driver? Because I don't, I don't know this guy. Oh, I fired him. Why? Because I no longer require his services. What really happened? Anyway, it's a very long story, but let me make it short for you to be able to understand it faster. The idiot combined with some miscarts to kidnap me. Really? That's, yes. That's, that's bad. But the attempt failed. Wow. That means you have to get heavy securities, you know, regarding who you are and stuff like that. That shouldn't bother you. I am more protected than you can even imagine. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Let me take this call. The speaker okay. is calling. All right. Hello, Mr. Speaker. How are you doing today? Hey, nigga, you're driving slow. We, we don't have time, okay? Just move, move, move. I'm on the phone. Come on. I'm sorry. Hello, how are you doing? Where are you? Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll be at the meeting. Hey, please hurry, let's go home. I have a meeting. Oh, okay, we'll say we have we have the house oh. to see. You forgot him? I forgot, sorry love. So this sorry. way. Okay, sir. Uh, yes. It's a very beautiful environment. I love it. No, it's a very beautiful environment. Mm, less so noise. serene. Yeah.
thank you for everything. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. So let's go so that I can show me how appreciative you can be. Sure. Let's go. Where's your driver? Ah, it's true. What, where is he now? Where did he... is open. It's crazy. So why did this idiot leave my car open to go? Jeez. See, I will deal with this idiot. I will deal with this man. Who, I will deal with this idiot. Oh, okay. Just calm down, honorable. Maybe he went to pee or something. Just call his phone. Police insisting on seeing my car boot at the check-in point. No, this is not a coincidence. Someone killed him to set me up. Wait a minute. Could it be Honorable Johnson? Yes. Yes. He promised to usurp me in the forthcoming elections by any means possible and this could be one of his schemes <laughs> oh hell we be loser if I find out he is behind this I will make him know that the tigress is actually the king of the forest and not the lion I can't believe I buried a man all by myself in a shallow grave. What if those policemen had seen the corpse in the trunk before I buried it? What would have been my fate? Oh jeez, if this, if this whole thing is part of dating a politician then I'm off. I'm off completely. I'm not doing it again. What are you coming over? I'm at the hotel. Hey. <laughs> it's alright. Okay, no problem. I'll go back to you now. Kisses. Mm. Princess, that's 
Yeah, Aunt won't be here for engagement tomorrow. That's not true, Mom. I spoke with her this morning. She promised to come. She didn't want to tell you on the phone because she didn't. She doesn't know the way you were here to that. You know your aunt very well. You live with her in Abuja. You know how busy her schedule is. Hmm. <clears throat> um, life of a single parent. My dear princess, don't worry. You know you've always been her favorite and uh, I'm sure she will make it up to you. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't even go there. She didn't come for my birthday party and now she's going to miss my engagement party. I'm not happy about that. Honey, mm -hmm. have you noticed that uh, my beautiful princess looks more beautiful when she pouts like a child? Brian, you're not saying anything. Are you here with us? What would you have me say? It's nice to have you on this table again, because it's over a month now we last um, had as a family. Mom, you know that's not true. Son, you know your mom is right. You've been avoiding this dining table for a very long time now. And you refuse to tell us why. Dad, the most important thing is he's here with us today. Mm. Isn't it, dear brother? Mm. 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 Now. I don't know. I, I even called the number and switched off. I wouldn't know what. I... So, what are we going to do? I... Hello? Honorable? Hello? Hello? Yeah, 
This is devil's handwork, God. Destroy our peace. This is devil's handwork, God. Destroy our peace. Talk us as Hello, my friend. Oh, sorry. Hello, ex boyfriend. Yeah, who is this? Brian. As hotty as ever. If I were you, I would have buried this attitude a long time ago. Tracia, is that you? <laughs> it's good to know you have good memories. Yes, this is Trisha. Oops! Yeah. Before I forget, I sent you some souvenirs earlier today. I'm sure you liked them. And yes, in case you need more of the videos, you can let me know. So, you are the one behind those pictures. What do you want, Tracia? Or how did you get those pictures? It's not about how I got those pictures. It's about what do I want. And what I want, there are many. First of all, you have to post those pictures on your social space before the night falls. What? In your dreams, bitch? You must be out of your mind to think I'll do that. What are you afraid of? Don't mind me. I was just joking. But really, that will be your fate. If you've ever violated any of my instructions. I'll call you exactly by 8 o'clock tomorrow. And if you miss any of my calls, that will be messy. Do have a great day. Trisha, listen. Trisha! expect me to get that kind of money from? I... I, I don't know what you're talking about.
Speaking of everyone, I believe we all know what today is. But let me refresh our memory in case you've forgotten. Well, today happens to be Princess Brianna's engagement party, and we are all expected to be at our very best. On that note, I urge every one of us to shun gossiping, lazing about, and we are all duty bound in order to bring out our best and to make sure things are right. That's true. Am I understood? Yes. Any question? today is. So better get yourself here else I'll contract someone else to do the job. Be fast. Greetings, Your Majesty. Ibuka, how are you? Fine, Your Majesty. Um, the items are ready. All of them? Yes, all of them. What of George? Has he supplied all the palm oil? Yes, Your Majesty. He just brought the last cake a few minutes ago. That's good. So now you go. Ensure that other things are ready and they are in the right places, okay? Yes, Your Majesty. very good woman and deserve a better brother but the truth of the whole matter is that she's not complaining so we shouldn't complain too <laughs> you and i know that the princess will never complain about the prince but that doesn't change the fact that she's hurting inside <laughs> you know i keep wondering why would the prince treat someone as lovely as the princess in so much content okay look this morning he left the palace on his sister's special day. I even overheard the princess telling the queen that she doesn't know his whereabouts. At least she'll soon get married and leave the whole palace for the prince to occupy. <laughs> if the princess gets married, my days in this palace are not bad. What do you mean by that? Because I can't stand him. I can't stand his face. But you're the very fine face. As if I ever noticed. <clears throat> what exactly are you people doing here? Huh? Nothing. I think I spoke about this earlier today, and you people decided to throw everything into the air, right? Remember, I was hired here just like every one of you. 
and I wouldn't want to be the reason anyone loses his or her job in this palace. That's to say, I won't condone this next time. I mean, I won't condone this attitude of yours. Now get back to your duty post. I said leave here now. I think it's the right time for me to call the big fish. I should just make the call right now. Yes. Um. <coughs> Who is this? Hello, Honorable Mrs. Williams. How are you doing today, lover girl? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. How are you doing to the lover old woman? Who the heck are you? Who is this? If you ask me that question again next time, you will see yourself trend on social media and even on newspapers. I'm pretty well. You won't like that. It is obvious you send those pictures, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's obvious. You are very smart. And I like that. Oh, you sent those pictures. And who gave them to you? That question is very irrelevant, Honorable. Besides, it's very shameful how you spend our national money on a young boy. Who is supposed to be your great grandson? <laughs> yes. Are you stupid or something? How dare you talk to me in that manner? Who do you think you are? I would choose my words carefully if I were you. Don't you think so? So what do you want? Good girl. Yes. I read me five million naira and put it in a portfolio and wait for my call this evening. Don't blame me if you go contrary to any of my instructions. I'll call you. Have a nice day. Honorable for young boys. Honorable. Hello, Brian. Why do you think you can play this dirty game with me? What game are you talking about? Oh, don't play dumb with me. What do you take me for? A fool or something? Honorable, my life is in a big mess right now and you're just adding to it. We have just been blackmailed. If that's where you're driving at. That girl that sent those pictures just called me, demanding for a five million naira ransom. And I'm just returning from the bank with the one million naira ransom she requested for. Really? Belan, can I ask you a question? This girl we are talking about, have you met her before? Yes. She's my ex. And uh, possibly I'll be meeting with her this evening to put an end to this. Certainly. <laughs> you tell me when and where 
you are meeting with her. Okay. You have given me reason to treat you like a political enemy. I'm here to see you. Oh, yes, I'm awake. Hmm. And I will see them very soon. Good. Uh, what of my princess? Is she not ready yet? She should be ready. Oh, yeah, she is. <sighs> my prize left you. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. So tell me, how do I look? Adorable. Permit me to use that word. Your beauty is all over my mouth. I love the right word to use right now. Thank you, Mom. My king. Arise, her father's delight. My daughter, your beauty is out of this world. Mm. I think I have to increase your diary. Oh. Hmm? Oh, please, Dad, go ahead. My Prince Noel is capable, so bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> Talking of princes, um, hey. your brother is um, deeply troubled. 
He's restless. Haven't anyone noticed? I have. And uh, I saw him with a fat brown envelope. And he was behaving like a cat sitting on a hot tin roof. I think he's up to something as usual. No, my lord. This time I think something is after him. He is troubled. In as much as I try to figure out what it could be, he keeps pretending as if all is well. But deep down I know that something is wrong. Anyway, I don't think that should bother us for now. Mm -hmm. What is uppermost in my mind now is the happiness of my daughter. Ah. And I don't want anything to distract us from that. Thank you, Dad. But I quite disagree with you. Mm -hmm. Prince Brian is my brother, and his well-being matches to me. I also know that today is very important to me, but please permit me to go check on him. I'll be right back. Okay? Right Go ahead. <laughs> she What do you want? I came to see See me for what exactly? You look apprehensive. Is everything okay? Isn't it obvious your ugly face is making me apprehensive? Can you kindly leave my presence with your disgusting self right now? Brian, must we always be like this? For crying out loud, we're siblings. Okay. Get out. Get out. We agreed to make kids together. Yes. We agreed to tour the world together. You promised me forever. Why will you make promises and not keep them? Why? Oh, why? I don't see this happening. Why? Your character is not of royalty. My princess. 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 Doctor. My princess. My princess. Baby. My princess. Baby. My princess. She just moved. She just moved. Doctor. Doctor. She just moved. Doctor. She just moved. Yes. She yes. 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 What? Oh. Now it's safe to tell you that Princess is a miracle child. Hey! Thanks. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. What? 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 What?
allow her to rest while I call Nurse to attend to her. She will rest. Yes. She will rest. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you very much. Let's call the nurse. Yes. Yes. Assassins to kill me. <laughs> hey! He's joking with me. He's joking with me. He must pay. He must pay. He must pay. <laughs> You said there is something you want to let me know. Yes, Your Highness. What is it? Your Highness, a man was arrested with an assault rifle at the crime scene where your daughter was shot. And this cell phone was found at the crime scene. Your Highness, do you in any way know about this lady? at the end, the attempted murder of your daughter. And that is why we are here, to question the prince since he was with her the moment she was shot. And also, your highness, to know the involvement of the owner of this cell phone. It's all right. Ebuka! Hey, Ebuka! Hey, your highness! Take these officers to the prince. Yes, Your Majesty. So, officer, that's, that's all I know. My prince, can you identify the killer if you see him? Everything happened so fast. Okay. What about her? Do you know her? Oh, no, no. No, I, I don't know her. Are you sure, my prince? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I, I don't know her. That's all right, my prince. But if I may ask, who do you think I want to take your life? Do you have anybody in mind? No, no, I, I don't. I don't have anyone. Okay, my prince, uh, we'll let you be for now. But in case anything comes up, please don't stay to let us know, okay? Tricia's phone. This is going to implicate me. I asked you for the last time. 
What are you doing with a gun? And what are you working for? I can see you are hurting. You don't want to talk. Now you will dance to my tune. I'm so sorry, my dear sister. I know. I know I've done so many bad things to you. But I will never wish you dead. Thank God I'm alive. And you're alive too. Brian, I have done so many unspeakable things to you. Yet you put your life on the line for me. You are my only brother. And I would do anything for you. That, that, that I, I planned all of this to eliminate you. deserve you, Brianna. I don't deserve to be close to you. Brian. You deserve everything. Till I throw my last breath. I love you. I love you, my dear brother. I love you more. Thank God you're alive. Did you hear the question I just asked you? But Dad, I've explained everything to you. How could I have planned to execute my own sister? You should be the one to answer that question. Dad, I know you're saying this because of the way I relate with my sister. I, I cannot plan such evil now. I can't. Your sister was shot on the day of her engagement. And you, her self-acclaimed rival, was with her. The reason we are having this discussion is because she survived it. If I find out that you have anything to do with it, then I will treat you 
like a sworn enemy. Dad, I'm telling you the truth and nothing but the truth. I do not know. Now, are you ready to talk or do we go on? Lick my axe. All right then, be my guest. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. Have you found anything yet? We are still on it, Your Majesty. We are here to take the prince for questioning. You want to question my son? Why? Are you by any means suspecting that he's behind the shooting? Not really, Your Majesty. I think the prince has some vital information for us. Vital information? Yes, Your Majesty. How? Let's go with the Prince first, Your Majesty. Let's ask him some questions first. Well, uh, it's alright if you insist. Hey, Booker. Your Majesty. Get me the Prince. Who is that? Come in. Greetings, my prince. What do you want? Um, His Majesty sent me. Okay. And some policemen are here to see you, my prince. Policemen? What do they want this time? Prince, I do not know. But uh, the king asked me to call you. Okay. Brian, who was with you the day your sister was shot? I was with my sister. Who else? Officer, I don't know why you're asking me all these questions. What are you implying? She was with you, wasn't she? Someone hired an assassin to kill you and a particular lady. And this is the lady here. So do you still deny knowing this lady? I know her. Okay then, take me to her. I 
What did you do about it? Did you report to the police about your missing phone? No, I didn't. I see. Is this your phone? Is this your phone? to know that the bullet that eats Princess Brianna was meant for you because of the information in your phone. Now, I want to see these information. Now. You are the one talking about information. So I should be the one asking you about it. What information are you talking about, officer? Look, young lady. Don't play pranks with me. Now. Show me the information. Williams. Young man, how may I help you? Honorable Mrs. Williams, you are under arrest for the attempted murder of Prince Brian, Princess Brianna, and Tricia. What are you talking about? What the heck are you talking about? Are you out of your mind or something? How dare you barge into my office talking this rubbish? Listen, I'll make sure both of you lose your jobs for this insult. Now get out. Leave my office now. Honorable, get out! Honorable Mrs. Williams, you have a warrant to this effect. And please, you have the right to remain silent. Whatsoever you say or do now will be used against you in the court of law. Let me call my lawyers. You do that on our way to the station. Ready for the consequences of your action. 
you will rot in jail. I repeat, you will rot in jail. Be wise, be wise, cause you must regret all these actions. You must regret all this in Bako. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> My love, you heard all the doctors said. You need to stop crying. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Darling, I, I know you will see him, okay? <laughs> but for now, you have to be strong for him and also be strong for your parents. Okay, darling? Okay? Okay? Let's go. Take me home. Okay. You know what? Let me get the maidens. Alright? I spoke with a lawyer yesterday. What did he say are the chances of Prince Brian being exonerated since he wasn't involved with the killing of this young man? Well, according to him, he has done the best he could. But the final decision lies with the judge. I know that he can't get any jail time here because he is a victim in all this. Yes, he's a victim, uh, but he got himself involved by burying the man. So what then are you saying, Dad? <sighs> well, I don't know. Let's wait for the judgment tomorrow. Oh. This is your majesty. Dinner is served. Thank you, my dear. Do I even get hungry these days? I don't have appetite for food. You're on medication, so you need food for that drug to work. So you need to eat, my dear. I know, Mom, but the thing is that I, I don't... Look, my princess, I know you are worried about your brother. Mm. But he will not get less than he deserves simply because you're starving yourself. We are all equally worried, are we not? So I don't want you to increase our worries. But if you insist on starving yourself, then we have no option but to go on hunger strike, all of us. No, no, no. God forbid I starve my parents. It's fine. Let's go and eat. Judgments. Miss Tricia and her two accomplices are guilty of murder, blackmailing, and false implication, and are hereby sentenced to life imprisonment. Mr. Bola is found guilty of attempted murder of Princess Brianna Makeri and illegal possession of firearms. He is hereby sentenced to 21 years in prison with hard labor. Honorable Mrs. Williams is guilty of attempted murder and obstruction of justice which aligns to actual murder. She is hereby sentenced to 40 years in prison without parole. Prince Brian is found guilty of obstruction of justice which aligns to actual murder. We do consideration to the pair of leniency from the defense counsel. I believe Prince Brown. But one thing is missing now. Your character is not of royalty. Your character is not of royalty. Oh, boogie, nina, wagi, we, oh, 